This morning, we're talking health with Dr. Scott Ackerman. As many people begin to receive their COVID-19 vaccine shot, doctors are starting to notice patients reporting swollen lymph nodes, and it could be mistaken for breast cancer. Joining me now via Zoom is Dr. Scott Ackerman. Dr. Ackerman, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Jen. Good to see you. So is this a normal reaction to the vaccine? Yes, we see in lots of vaccines, uh, lymph nodes that enlarge, we call it um, adenopathy. And so we see it in the flu vaccine and uh, uh, the measles vaccine. We may see it in the, in the um, shingles vaccine, uh, but it happens a little bit more often with the COVID-19 vaccine. Usually the lymph, these are lymph nodes in the armpit that, you, that enlarge, and they do so in the arm that is vaccinated. So is it what's happening in the body that this that causes this to occur because it might worry some particularly women who are are told to check for you know signs early signs of breast cancer and this is one of them right so this is a good thing you know when you have reaction to a vaccination that reaction means the body's immune system is getting all geared up and all jacked up to to fight the virus that may come on in the future so we see in about I guess 11%, uh, 10 to 11% of women or uh, people rather uh, get adenopathy or these lymph nodes enlarge with the first dose of the vaccine. And with the second dose of the vaccine, we see it about closer to 15% of the time. And it usually starts two to four days after the vaccine in the arm that's vaccinated and it decreases in size after two to four weeks. Although some people, it can last a month or two. And the concern is that when a woman goes in for a mammogram, she'll have her mammogram done. And when they do the mammogram, she, the woman may not feel it, but we may see on the mammogram some enlarged lymph nodes in the, in the axilla or the armpit. And we didn't really give it much thought, but now these women are getting their mammograms and we're seeing these uh, lymph nodes enlarged and no one ever asked them if they got vaccinated. We didn't think to ask them that. And then it turned out that a lot of women were uh, being unnecessarily worked up or evaluated for these enlarged lymph nodes, thinking it might be cancer. Then lo and behold, we find out that they were vaccinated. And, oh yeah, they're vaccinated. That's why there's enlarged lymph nodes. So now part of the protocol is to make sure we ask women if they've had the vaccine recently and which arm so we can correlate that with the mammographic findings. Now, most you know, men are not told to get mammograms, obviously, but is this something then that can occur in men? And, and, and at some point, you know, is there any sign that would signal that perhaps they do need to call their doctor about it because it could be something, you know, of more concern other than just the vaccine? Sure, men get mammograms too sometimes. If a man has a breast lump, man has a breast lump, we may do a mammogram. I see patients in my practice. I saw a patient just last week who had a, not breast cancer. He had a cancer of the throat a year or two ago, and he needed a PET scan. We did the PET scan. I saw lymph nodes enlarged in his armpit, and I was concerned that that might be uh, the spread of his cancer. But it turned out he was vaccinated recently. So what you should be concerned about, though, for a woman, I don't want to just discount all lymph nodes that are enlarged and someone has been vaccinated because some of them actually might be breast cancer. <clears throat> so if these lymph nodes persist, if they last within a month or so, then I think that uh, that would warrant uh, additional evaluation, additional investigation. And I know an important message that we share very frequently, the two of us, uh, to our viewers, and I, I want to make sure that we take advantage of that opportunity today, is the importance of getting your yearly mammogram, depend on, depending upon your age. Exactly, because early, early diagnosed breast cancer is well over 95, nearly 99% curable. And so if you had your vaccine, I really don't recommend putting off the mammogram because remember, I, I said only 10 or 15% of women will have adenopathy. You should get your mammogram. There's been a pause on mammograms during the whole pandemic and women have, are having a delay in diagnosis of breast cancer. And we don't need to have that happen any, any more than necessary. Yeah, the sooner you catch it, the better. Dr. Scott Ackerman joining us this morning. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Jen.